Oh, hi guys. You alright? So, just about to go for a walk. I'm challenging myself today. I'm going for a two hour walk. Yes, and I've got my, my coat on, so I'm nice and warm as I go for this walk. Weather's okay, it's not raining, so I don't need an umbrella. Uh, just checking out, I've got everything. Um, oh yeah, what have I got here? Oh, I've got my AirPods, I've got my jacket, I've got my phone. I think that's, that's everything. I think I'm good to, actually, no, I'm missing something. I'm forgetting something. Oh, house keys.
welcome back to this week's Go Kids video, guys. Make some noise! Woohoo! Glory to God, hallelujah. It is great to be back with you guys this week. I am so, so, so excited to see you all, okay? I hope you guys got involved with praise time, okay? I hope you're learning the moves, doing the moves with your mums and dads, your brothers, your sisters, whoever's with you at home, okay? I hope you guys get up on your feet every single Sunday or as often as you can actually, okay, getting up and praising Jesus because that's what we love to do at Go Kids. So, how's your week been? Thumbs up? Yes, has your week been good? Has your week been okay? Okay, yeah, your week has been good, yeah, because no matter what happens out there in the world, we're blessed. We're blessed children of God because of what Jesus did for us on the cross, okay? So always remember that, that you are blessed, okay? God has blessed you in many, many, many ways, okay? And all we have to do is continue to give God praise. Okay, so today we are on to the last part of the armor of God that we've been talking about. Oh, I know, it's so sad. No, it's not sad at all, okay? Because there's so much in the Bible for us to talk about. We're just going to move on to the next thing next week, okay? But I'm not going to tell you what that is, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep you guessing. I'm going to reveal it next week, okay? So, but yes, we are on to the last part of the armour of God. Remember, the Bible tells us in Ephesians 6, 11, to put on all of God's armour so that we can stand against the strategies of the devil, okay? The devil's schemes and the devil's evil ways we can stand against it why because we have the whole armor of God and remember is it a physical armor or is it a spiritual armor it's a spiritual armor yes exactly okay and that's what makes it much more powerful okay because God has given us a spiritual armor to live as bold powerful mighty boys and girls here on the earth okay so we've talked about the helmet of salvation we've talked about the breastplate of righteousness we've talked about the belt of truth we've talked about the sword of the spirit we've talked about the shield of faith what's our last one that's right the shoes of the gospel of peace well let's get into it oh yes as i said we are talking about the shoes of the gospel of peace today okay so let's get our bibles ready yes are we ready to get into the word of god because remember the bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god okay so this okay listening to teaching okay reading the bible out loud meditating on the bible it increases our faith and it helps us to know god more and more every single day okay so i hope you guys can see on this table i've got all the parts of the armor that we've talked about so far i think i'm missing the belt of truth actually yes I think the belt of truth is in one of the drawers somewhere okay so we've talked about the belt of truth yes and then we've got we talked about the sword of the spirit which is the the word of god yes amen and we've talked about the shield of faith, yes, breastplate of righteousness, the helmet of salvation. And today, what did I say we're going to be talking about? Yes, that's right. The shoes of the gospel of peace. Now, you might be thinking, you might be wondering, but these shoes look very different to all the other parts of the armour, okay? But guess what? As I said, it's a spiritual armor anyway, okay? It's a spiritual armor, okay? But guess what? It reminds us, okay, that on our feet, okay, when we're thinking about the armor of God, we have to have something on our feet. Think about the, the little drama that I did at the beginning of this video. What was happening? That's right, I was about to go for a walk, right? I had everything else, but what was missing on my feet? Shoes, exactly. Now, could I go for a walk without shoes on? Well, I could, actually. But what might happen? Yeah, it might feel a little bit uncomfortable. Actually, not a little bit uncomfortable. It will feel very uncomfortable, okay? Because if I'm going for a two-hour walk, let's think about this for a second. A two-hour walk outside with no shoes, and we know what these roads and these streets in Manchester are like. <laughs> You know, there's all sorts of things on the floor, okay? Gravel and stones and 
like I might actually hurt my feet and bleed, yeah? So I need these shoes to protect my feet, to make me feel comfortable, and so I can actually do the two hour walk, right? <laughs> so we need this, so I want you guys to bear that in mind, okay? As much as we need our shoes, our trainers, to go on walks, okay, whatever it is we're doing, okay? A warrior in an army also needs something on his feet, okay? And he has the sword, he has the shield, he has the breastplate and the helmet, but he needs something on his feet, doesn't he? Exactly. So if he needs something on his feet, we as part of God's armor also need something on our feet, okay? So let's get our Bibles up ready. Our memory verse today, which is in John chapter 16, verses 33. Okay, so that's John chapter 16, verses 33. And this is our key verse today, so I want us to get learning, get memorizing, and a one of the best ways actually to memorize a verse in the Bible is to keep saying it over and over and over and over again. It's sort of like how I learn my lines for my, for, for my work as an actor, okay? I say it over and over and over and over again, okay? And that's actually helped me learn so much of the Bible is by saying it over and over and over and over again. St. John chapter 16 verse 33 says this, and keep saying it and keep saying it and keep saying it, and then it sticks in your mind and you can't let go of it, which is good because it's the word of God, right? Okay, so John 16 verse 33 says, so this is Jesus speaking to his disciples, okay? So Jesus says, I have told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. I'm going to read it one more time. I have told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. So what's Jesus saying? What's he saying to his disciples? First of all, he's encouraging them, okay? And what's so interesting about this, Jesus is outlining that so many crazy things are gonna happen in the world. Like so many bad things, so many evil things, you know, you're gonna see around you, you know, you're gonna see people being hurt, you know, you're gonna see so much evil. Okay, now let's think about one of the biggest things that's happened to the whole world this past year. Do we know? It's pretty obvious, isn't it? Coronavirus, right? Coronavirus has really hurt people in so many different ways, hasn't it? Okay? But that doesn't come as a surprise to Jesus, okay? Because Jesus is saying, okay, that if you if we remain in him, okay, if we've accepted him as our Lord and Savior, we will have peace. Even when people are mean to us because we believe in Jesus, because we say that Jesus is our best friend and that we trust in him, even when they call us names, even when they do bad things to us, okay, Jesus is saying we'll have peace, okay, if we have him in our hearts and we continue to trust him and have faith in him, we will have peace no matter what, okay, and it says here, but take heart because I have overcome the world, so the peace comes from knowing that Jesus over overcame the world, now, Question to you guys, how did Jesus overcome the world? Exactly, by dying on the cross and resurrecting. Exactly, Jesus overcame the world, all the evil in the world, all the darkness in the world, all the sin, all the sickness, everything that's not of God, Jesus overcame it on the cross, okay? So Jesus is saying, take heart, don't be afraid, okay? You might see all this evil in the world, but in me, you will have peace. So if we remain in Jesus, we will have peace. And I think that that's amazing. Thinking about the shoes of the gospel of peace, it means, guess what? We're gonna be taking peace wherever we go, okay? If we don't have peace within ourselves, how can we take peace to our friends? How can we take peace into situations, okay? And that peace comes from knowing that Jesus Christ died on the cross for us. Okay, so we think about the word gospel, okay? We've said this so many, so many times. Gospel means good news, exactly. Good news, good news that Jesus Christ died on the cross, okay, for our sins and he rose again victorious. And one of my, other, I always say this to you guys, but I have so many favorite Bible verses, okay? But one of the, 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 the verses in the Bible that I really, really always remember and that just brings me so much joy is in Romans chapter five, verses one, okay? So let's go there, okay? To Romans chapter five, verses one, okay? So it says, therefore, since we have been made right in God's sight by faith, we have peace with God because of what Jesus Christ 
our Lord has done for us. How amazing is that scripture? It's, it's just amazing, isn't it? Okay, it says we've been made right in God's sight. God doesn't look at us and think, you're bad, you're terrible. Oh, I don't love you, you're too, you know, you're, you're too, you're too imperfect for me, no. The Bible says in Romans chapter 5 verse 1, we have been made right in God's sight by faith, okay? And now we have peace with God. How? Because of what Jesus did on the cross for us. So we have peace with God. So guess what? We take that peace, you know, that peace that comes from the gospel, we take it to our schools, we take it to our communities, we take it to our, our families that don't know Jesus. We take it all over the world, okay? We do that and that's our job. But peace starts with, you know, within us first. We have to have that peace. And we have that peace by knowing and remembering that Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins, okay? And now we are the righteousness of God in Christ, okay? So we've been made right with God because of what Jesus did on the cross, okay? So we know that when we go, we have on our feet, the Bible says the readiness, okay? We have to be ready to go out there and tell people about Jesus, okay? But we can only do that when we know what it means for us. When we know that, ah, yes, I have received Jesus, okay? God loves me. God doesn't hate me. You know, even when I do something wrong or I sin, I'm quick to repent because I know Jesus has forgiven me of all my sins, past, present and future. Okay, so this is the other important part of having the shoes of the gospel of peace on. Okay, so let's go to Mark 16 verses 15. Okay, so we have peace within us. Okay, we've been made right in God's sight by faith. We have peace with God because of what Jesus Christ did on the cross. Okay, but we have to do something with all of that. Okay, and Mark 16 verse 15 tells us. Okay, so it says, and then he told them, go into all the world and preach the good news to everyone. Okay, there's that word, the good news, which means gospel, and gospel means good news, exactly. Yes, we're getting it, okay? So it says, and then he told them, this is Jesus, go into all the world and preach the good news to everyone, okay? So when we think about the shoes of the gospel of peace, we are going out there and telling people about Jesus, okay? And do you guys remember the ABCs of salvation that we talked about in Go Kids? A is, do you remember A? A is accept that you are a sinner and you need a saviour. Yes, a saviour to save you from your sins. Okay, so you have to accept that you're a sinner and that you need a saviour to save you from your sins. And then B, yes, exactly, believe. Believe, okay, that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, okay? You have to believe that, okay? You have to believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died on the cross and that he is the Son of God, okay? And then C is confess, exactly. Confess, confess Jesus, okay? Confess that Jesus is Lord over your life, okay? Confess, confess for him to come into your heart and be your Lord and Saviour, okay? You have to confess Jesus over your life and confess that he died for your sins and confess that he is your Lord, okay? That's why we say, come into my heart, Lord Jesus, okay? And I thank you. And I ask for forgiveness, yes. We ask for forgiveness, right? And then we say, thank you for that forgiveness. So accept, believe, confess. Everyone say it with me. Accept, believe, and confess, okay? So we've done all that because we're believers and we're Christians, okay? So as we're thinking about going to tell our friends about Jesus, let's think of all these steps. Great stuff. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me today. That brings us to the end of this week's video. Thank you guys so much for joining me. It's been great, as always, to see you guys and to spend this time with you guys, okay? Don't forget, as I always say, as I've been saying for the past couple of weeks, Studio 4 is open. So come, come in the flesh. We have so much fun and there's so just so much exciting things happening, okay? You don't want to miss out. Trust me, okay? So, what is our memory verse again for today? It is John chapter 16, verses 33. Yes, that's right. John chapter 16, verses 33. And I want you guys to keep saying it until it sticks into your head, okay? Keep saying it until it sticks in your head. 
Go to your mum and say, mum, this is what I learned today, John chapter 16, verse 33, okay? And I want you to say it, quote the Bible verse to them, okay? To your mum, to your dad, to whoever, okay? That's how it helps you, it helps you to remember, okay? That's how it helps you remember, the, you know, the scripture when you keep saying it, you keep saying it, you keep saying it, okay? So remember, on our feet, we have the shoes of the gospel of peace. Why? Because we have to be ready to give a reason for the hope that we have. Okay, we have to be ready to explain why we're believers, you know, why we believe in Jesus and what that means, okay? So always be ready to give a reason for the hope that you have in Jesus, okay? So I want you guys to think on that, okay, take that away and, and just ask Jesus and say, Jesus, how can I tell my friends about you, okay? And he will help you. Through his Holy Spirit, he'll give you the right words to say and exactly when to pray for them, exactly what to say to them and, and at the right time, okay? So I want you guys to ask and pray about that this week for Jesus to show you how you can share the gospel with your friends or share the gospel with, you know, family members that you have that don't know Jesus, okay? And he will help you through his Holy Spirit, okay? Because remember, the Holy Spirit is our guide. He guides us into all truth and he will give us the words to say, okay? So God bless you, God keep you, God favor you and always remember that God has made you the the very best! The very best!